ions and types of anions anion and cation this may sound to you some uh, simple rhyme from a nursery class <laughs> but we'll understand about it so first thing is what is an ion we discussed this in the previous video where we discussed about structure of an atom but just to quickly recapitulate an atom basically comprises of three articles one is the electron the protons and the neutrons right normally electrons which are the negatively charged and protons which are the positively charged the number of electrons and number of protons in an atom is equal but if we either add or remove an electron through a chemical process to an atom it becomes either positively charged or negatively charged right so these positively or negatively charged atoms are known as ions i've just broadly captured this thing you can also visit the earlier video which is the structure of an atom to gain more clarity on this aspect but now having understood what is an ion there could be two situations again the basic ones you either add an electron or you remove an electron and then the addition can be of a single electron two electrons or three electrons right normally you cannot add more than three electrons to an atom because that will require very high level of energy which is practically not possible so these ions are basically divided into two parts one is a cation the other one is an anion now what is a cation a cation is basically a positively charged atom now let me ask you a simple question if i tell you that you know five electrons and five protons are there in an atom these are the negative ones these are the positive ones right i am telling you that a cation is nothing but a positively charged atom right when is that possible i mean this is let's say for example this is minus 5 this is plus 5 if i have to add these two numbers assuming this remains the same because the changes can happen only in this under what situation would the positives increase the negatives obviously if i reduce this by any number so if i make it minus 4 then minus 4 plus 5 gives me 1 plus 1 and now is it is what it is a positively charged thing so in case of cation what it is is that when you remove an electron from an atom okay then basically this ion which is left right this is called a positively charged atom or cation right so let me give you an example for this so let's say for example if you have sodium okay sodium sodium atom has basically 11 protons and 11 electrons right if i undergo a process where i remove one electron okay then what will happen is i will have 11 protons but 10 electrons right this is plus this is minus if i do an addition what do i get i will get plus 1 right so this sodium atom which was there whose symbol was na will become sodium with a positive sign why one this positive sign because it has one positively charged proton which is more than the electrons similarly what can also happen is if you remove two electrons from something okay from an atom and let's say for example in this case you can take the example of a magnesium ion in case of a magnesium ion if you remove from the magnesium atom two electrons then this will become an ion which is positively charged and because there are two units which have been removed this will be written as magnesium 2 plus right on the other hand if i talk about an anion it is a negatively charged 
atom. So this will happen when? I mean, when would this sum become negative? This will become negative if I add one more electron here. So let's say, for example, I had five electrons. I add one more electron. I will get six electrons. And these are what? These are negative ones. Whereas the protons remain the same. So in this case, how much is the excess of electrons over protons? One, right? So in such cases, and the most common example for this one is chlorine. In case of chlorine, which is written as Cl, okay, when you add one electron, plus one electron, okay, the chlorine will have more number of electrons than the protons. Normally the protons out here are 17 and the electrons are 17 as well. These are positive, these are negative. But when you add one electron over here, the positives remain at 17, right? The electrons which are negative becomes 18. So if I do a sum of this, I will have one negative electron more. So this Cl or the chlorine puts up a negative sign. Why? Because one electron is more. And therefore we say that this is negatively charged. Now just like I told you for the cations, even in case of anions, you can have a situation where you add two electrons. So if you add two electrons, then basically what will happen is that this case will become something like, let's say for example, if we form an oxide ion, it will have a symbol which is written as O, 2 minus. 2 minus basically represents that there are two additional ions, right? Similarly, you can have even electrons which are plus 3 in totality, right? More than 3 is normally something not possible, again, for the same reason that, you know, you have a very high level of energy required to prepare them. With that, we come to an end of this video around ions. I hope you would have had a good time understanding this. In case there are any issues, you can drop us a question on the YouTube channel or on our website. This video is brought to you by www.iedubook.com. Thank you for being with us today.